Hey guys, it's Sandro here with an all-purpose cleaner comparison video today that places Maguire's APC, CarPro's Multi-X, AutoFurnace Verso and Poor Boy's World APC up against each other in a variety of tests and dilution ratios that will hopefully help you guys discover a little more about these four popular automotive surface cleaners. Now I've done my absolute best to try and be as consistent, fair and clear in all these tests so that you guys can also draw your own conclusions. But my goal with this video isn't to determine a winner or loser, but rather just discover and share more information about these APCs so that each of you can make more informed decisions when it comes to buying them. I'll also add that I've used all these APCs in the past and they've all been featured in some of my past videos. So I'm going to draw on some of that past experience to add a little more insight and useful information to this video. I also need to express a quick apology for some of the hard to read results that unfortunately didn't show up as well as I'd like in the footage. But that's just a part of trying to film new tests and subject matter. You win some, you lose some. But I'll do my best to try and explain the results as best I can. And one final point before we get to the testing is that each of these brands do make additional car surface cleaners such as Meguiar's Degreaser, CarPro's Inside, Autofinesse's Citrus Power and Poor Boy's Strip Down. Now in many cases some of these other cleaners may have provided better comparisons for some of these tests. But I've decided to choose these four particular cleaners as they are all branded and described as APCs for both interior and exterior applications by the manufacturers themselves. But if this video does well, I'm sure I'll do some more head-to-head -head comparisons with APCs and degreasers in the future. So the first test was using these APCs to lightly clean a set of tires. All the APCs were sprayed liberally onto each tire, given a minute to dwell and then using a stiff tire brush that were quickly worked in and rinsed off. I'll talk about the finished results once all four tires have been cleaned and mostly dried off so that they can be judged a little better. But during the cleaning stage, I'd like you to take note of the visual references such as how well each APC is foaming up and how much grime this seems to be coming off each tire and hitting the floor. Now it's also important to note that these tires are in need of a far more intensive clean to remove some of the tire browning rather than the quick once over on giving them. But for this particular test I'm focusing in on the APC's ability to firstly remove the surface grime and secondly strip off the existing tire dressing, which should actually reveal a slightly browned and matte finish if these cleaners are able to do their job. So in other words, I'm testing their ability to perform a quick weekly maintenance clean on the tyres to remove the grime and strip off the old tyre dressing before applying a fresh layer. And maybe in a future video, I'll test these or some other APCs on their ability to remove more stubborn tyre browning. As we look at the results on the tyres of all four APCs, I want to highlight a couple of things. Firstly, you'll notice that Meguiar's APC definitely has the best foaming action of all the cleaners, followed by Auto Finesse Verso, then Poor Boy's APC, and lastly CarPro Multi-X. However, when you look at the actual dirt and grime that is physically coming off each tyre, it's pretty much the complete opposite with CarPro Multi-X definitely having the most grime hitting the floor, followed by Poor Boys, then Auto Finesse, and lastly Meguiar's APC. If you've ever tried to fill and foam a wash bucket with dirt at the bottom, you'll notice that the dirt prevents the car wash detergent from foaming up. And the exact same thing is happening here. 
It's the fact that both CarPro and Poor Boys APC are lifting off more dirt and grime, which is actually preventing them from foaming up. As I can tell you that without all that dirt, they definitely both have great foaming abilities. And the fact that Auto Finesse Verso and even more so Meguiar's APC are foaming up quite well is largely due to the fact that they aren't removing anywhere near as much grime on these tyres. The other thing to take note of is that the finished tyres with Meguiar's APC and Auto Finesse Verso both look blacker and shinier, while the tyres cleaned with Poor Boy's APC and even more so CarPro Multi-X look duller with a matte finish. As I mentioned before, these tyres really do need more than the quick 30 second clean I gave them. But what's quite apparent is that both the Meguiar's and Auto Finesse cleaners didn't quite remove the older tyre dressing, which is why the finish looks better. While both the Poor Boys and CarPro APCs were definitely able to strip off the existing tyre dressing along with more of the grime. Now I get that these results may be a little difficult to understand but I really wanted you guys to grasp what's really happening beyond the surface and why we are achieving and seeing the results at hand. The next test was evaluating these APC's ability to strip an existing sealant off automotive paint. The sealant used was just a prototype one I've been testing lately and it was applied 24 hours prior to testing. All the APC's were sprayed onto a section of the same panel using the 1 to 3 dilution ratios, given a minute to dwell on the paint and then rinsed off. Now based on these results, I think it's pretty clear to see that both CarPro Multi-X and Poor Boy's APC have affected the hydrophobic behaviour of the sealant the most, with fairly even results. While Meguiar's APC is probably a step or two behind them, and Auto Finesse Verso is really more the odd one out here, having nowhere near as much effect on the sealant. It's also important to note that these 1 to 3 dilution ratios are quite a bit stronger or more concentrated than what I normally use which is more like a 1 to 5 to 1 to 10 dilution ratios. But in any case, none of these APCs have completely killed the hydrophobic behaviour of the sealant, though it's fairly clear to see that they have affected it, but just to different degrees. In a second test on the same panel, I once again sprayed all the APCs in the corresponding sections, but this time I followed up by lightly working them into the section with a microfiber cloth, which always significantly increases the effectiveness of the cleaner or chemicals. When looking at the water behavior and results of each section, it's almost identical to the first one on this panel with just increased stripping abilities and effectiveness. So once again, CarPro Multi-X and Poor Boy's APC have completely killed the water behaviour of the sealant to the point that it's pretty safe to say that it's gone. While Meguiar's APC is again just a step or two behind, and Auto Finesse Verso is another step or two behind again.
In this test, I was attempting to show how easy or difficult the residue of these APCs is to rinse off and how they leave the paint looking in relation to streaks or blemishes after a touchless spray on and rinse off application. Normally, I wouldn't necessarily recommend you apply and use them in this way on your car, but I was just trying to see if there was any noticeable differences in the residue that each of these APCs leave behind on the paint. In all honesty, this test didn't show up as well on camera as I would have liked, and the weather outside forced me indoors to finish up the test, but hopefully there still is a bit of useful information here. So going by what I was seeing in person, I can say that all four APCs left quite a noticeable streaky and patchy finish, but some were definitely worse than others. I'd say that the section with Poor Boy's APC probably has the most streaks and blemishes, and the section with Maguire's APC is only marginally better. While both sections with CarPro Multi-X and Auto Finesse Verso seem the clearest and cleanest, with less remaining residue overall. The next test was using these APCs to clean quite a filthy old fabric seat. The same stronger 1 to 3 dilution ratios were used in conjunction with some non-scratch cleaning pads. Once again, I wasn't too happy with how the lighting and footage was showing up on camera, but as you'll hopefully see in the end of this test, the results were quite varied by each APC, and later on I ended up taking the photo of the seat the next day, which you'll see in a bit, that actually showed the results much clearer than the video footage. Now I purposely only hit the seat quite quickly and lightly in each section to see if there was obvious differences in the results. And then I followed up with a second round of cleaning in each section to further try and amplify the finished results so that they would be clearer to see in the end. Based more so on the results we can see in the photo 24 hours later once the seat is completely dry, I think it's clear to see that CarPro Multi-X definitely achieved the best overall results, though Poor Boy's APC is really just a slight step behind. And although the section with Maguire's APC definitely had a bit more staining to begin with, it's a touch better overall than the section with Auto Finesse Verso that just didn't perform quite as well at breaking down and lifting all that grime.
The last test here was using the lighter 1 to 10 dilution ratios of these APCs on a vinyl C. And I just very lightly and quickly hit each section with the cleaners using a gentle detailing brush. All four APCs actually did quite a good job at cleaning this seat. And even though there was a couple of little spots here and there that could have done with another quick pass, all the results were quite good and quite close. So while we have a look at this last test, I'm going to just sum up with my conclusions. As I mentioned at the start of the video, I've used all these APCs in the past. So I'll also share a little of that past experience here. Now, although Auto Finesse Verso didn't seem to fare as well in most of the tests, it's not so much about it being not as good, but rather about it not being as concentrated as something like Poor Boy's World APC. I actually tried both of these APCs almost at the same time a couple of years ago, and what I found was that for exterior applications, a 1 to 1 dilution of Verso was quite similar to a 1 to 3 dilution of Poor Boy's APC. And I don't believe that Auto Finesse is just trying to cheat customers by not making Verso as concentrated. I think they're just trying to make it more user friendly and less prone to issues, which it actually is. But as someone using these APCs for professional applications, cost and value is extremely important and Verso just isn't as cost effective. And having an APC that is more capable at higher strengths when I need it is also really important. So in all honesty, I really favoured Poor Boy's APC at the time for those reasons. But one thing that I do have to point out about Poor Boy's APC is that it is a little more volatile than most APCs, as it seems to irritate skin or eyes just a touch more than the others. But even more so, it doesn't seem to store well over short periods, as the mix starts to crystallise in chunks, especially in the larger gallon bottles. And that becomes an issue for me that I just haven't experienced with any of the other APCs. Out of all these cleaners, Meguiar's is by far the one I've used the most in the past, and for well over a decade. Whereas the other three are give or take similar in price, Meguiar's APC is almost half the price, and there is absolutely no doubting that it is a fantastic APC, which really makes it hard to beat value-wise. Now I tend to use Meguiar's APC more so for interior applications and Meguiar's degreaser more so for exterior ones. But just like Auto Finesse Verso, if you use Meguiar's APC at stronger concentrations, it will start performing closer to the others in my experience. Now CarPro Multi-X is definitely the newest APC here, coming out just late last year. But I have to say that from the get-go, I really like the way it performed on just about every car application I tried it on, both interior and exterior. Though I'll say that I still prefer CarPro Inside for interior cleaning. It's definitely a very capable and effective cleaner, but it also seems to rinse off well and be safe on all surfaces while not being overly volatile and it stores well for months on end. So in other words, apart from it being a touch pricey, I've really found it hard to fault as it just seems to have the perfect balance of being safe, user-friendly, yet extremely effective. In the end, all these APCs, and many more on the market, can get the job done. Some may be more user-friendly to work with, others may be more concentrated or capable, and some may be safer on more sensitive surfaces. But the more you get to know these automotive cleaners, and their various dilution ratios for various applications and surfaces, the better you'll understand them and get to use them to their full potential. As always, I really hope you guys enjoyed and found this video useful. Please like, comment and subscribe to this channel to show your support for these videos and I'll see you guys soon.